Hi there, it's Goat. So in this episode, Delta Squad returns from the city. We get a uh, surprise tool that'll help us later from the armory. Frog gets some attention. Yes, Frog is in this episode. And our truck ends up in the shop. So we have to begin a foot patrol, which ends up becoming the foot patrol. Hey, let All me right. channel everything into bringing my gun here. <laughs> <laughs> it already funny. pops in my hand, but I keep powering. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if you channeled that and your gun came to your hand, but it was at the speed of someone carrying it by hand. <laughs> so you're like, hold on, and you hold it out, and it just slowly moves across the room, and all the bad guys are just watching, just going like, what the fuck? No, Dude, if it, imagine better. that. It, it takes six seconds to get to me, no matter how far I am. So if I'm in the same room, it's like a full six seconds floating to me. But if I'm across like the world, it's like flying like a fucking jet. Any second now. <laughs> All right. No, you, you call it and it shows up, but it's still in the safe that you left it in. Oh no! <laughs> doesn't doesn't teleport. Like a pulls. Looney Tunes That's situation. A giant fucking yeah, just a massive like postal safe moving at you at Mach <laughs> one. <laughs> There's like a big hole in the barracks, just all the way to me. You can just see <laughs> you just see our our op commanding officer through there. Like oh hey. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> you shouldn't have put it in that safe. <laughs> yeah, I, I told you. Said, leave it on the trouble. roof. Yeah, Those leave, models. Leave it on the roof. It'll get rained on, but it's okay. All it's right. of highest quality. <laughs> it menaces with spikes of incompetence. <laughs> All right. So, speaking last, of incompetence, oh, last time. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of incompetence, uh, last time you met a very friendly uh, Lord Adept in his paper house you had taken a mission from him to find out why some garbage men in his part of the city were garbage men men without a path another piece to this puzzle perhaps linked to your own interesting predicament and you did ambush the garbage men you waylaid them you beat the shit out of them after mike started a gunfight by <laughs> saying what what were those words? Hey, fuck boys. Right. So, so as, as he opened up with his diplomatic overtures, they were not, uh, of course, very kind. But for the second time in a row, you managed to take prisoners. I mean, captives. I mean, uh, suspect. <laughs> <laughs> He's still alive. That's all that matters. Words right. are just ways of communicate. Yeah, words are things. So, um, yeah. You, you guys have managed to get into the vehicle and you're screaming off. As you put the pedal to the metal and you try to get back to the bridge to get back to your own beloved Sector G-17, you see the giant rain clouds boiling up over the bay and you know it's going to be another motherfucking nightmare of a storm washing in. It's that sort of rain that is like an entire army of children with pellet guns shooting at you. It's that sort of rain that will sweep lesser hats from your brow and money from your hand. Not a single bit of ecstasy in all that rain. <sighs> Fuck. We do not have the feather seals on the hatch, do we? They appear not to be there, no. Yeah, I could do something. Do I have any control weather? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, if you did, I'm not really sure that one. <laughs> Just be like, don't worry, boys. I'm sure if Firestorm has the word storm in it. <laughs> hey, what's up, gamers? Get ready for the fastest Magistrata Mundanus game ever. <laughs> <laughs> We're percent demon, any percent speed run. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to do something on Feathers. I need to miscast this and roll. Okay, bad energy. Let's start over. Oh my god! We just hard cut like, and I got to roll to ninety, and then you guys are start rolling down the street, and Diggs is just like <laughs> quiet for the whole session. Yeah, he's just <laughs> been removed from the game, like that guy next to Stalin. Just <laughs> <laughs> right. too good. so we're speeding away, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were speeding away. Writing out a questionnaire to hand out to these prisoners, so we keep directly asking, like, with directly what the questions that uh, Rove said we needed. And my guy has photographic memory, so he knows what he what we needed. So you are writing out. You are writing out like a literal <laughs> questionnaire. Okay, it, to, to the prisoners. 
paper yeah. on the side of the truck trying to yes. scribble it. As it's, and it's all like wobbly and shit because yes. we're in the, this horrible MRAP <laughs> piece of shit. But it's just the first draft. <laughs> it's suspension for days. We are bouncing around. Yeah, but oh. it's going to have shit like describe in your own words how you came <laughs> to have this. <laughs> so it's like an HR questionnaire. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, or a standardized right. test. Oh my god. All right. All right. So you write it up there and they look kind of beat up. Uh the ones that aren't mangled, which most of them are. And and they're they're giving you the they're giving you the stink eye. Oh they, wait, I need to give them first aid. Let's let me see how well I can do that. I'm not using medkit supplies on them, by the way. This is improv, so just based at I, I yeah. pass my truncheon back to him and he sees that it's labeled first aid. Oh, I rolled a five. <laughs> so I succeed unless it was like a minus 50 or something. No, 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 no. This is this is fairly simple. It's fairly academic. These sorts of wounds you've inflicted on numerous people. Yeah. You've become very, very good at identifying their cause. <laughs> You're like, that looks like my handiwork. <laughs> So uh, they're feeling yeah. the style. Their, their, their uh, garbage man coveralls to like make bandages and use the spare truncheon for a splint or something. <laughs> okay. Okay. So so they just stare at you as you're rolling along the bridge. You know, the rain is starting to pick up and start smashing into that windscreen. And visibility starts dropping low. Vehicles slow. They haven't said anything. Can you fellows read and write? The guy, one guy goes, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Fill this up, please. And he, um, okay, on hold pain on. Of death. On pain of, oh, hold on. I got a roll for him. He tries to poke it. Yeah, he cannot read or write. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I can read and write for you. So he, yeah, so he, he, he's, he's like, he takes the form and the pen and he's like, He's trying to act tough, you yeah. know. So he's he's like shuffling the papers in front of him. And he's like, mm, mm, yeah, mm. and he he like holds the pen up, and he's like making weird squiggles in certain areas. And he's like, yeah, I've done this before. I'm I'm used to this. We used to do this for fun. We know what this is. Just look at him, like, really? Yeah. Hey, let me see that. Let me see that paper. Hands it over to me. Oh yeah. His name's Jack. Hands it back to you. It is. Yeah, that's my name. Griglack. I could translate. Hit him. <laughs> you want Griglack to hit somebody? Yeah, that one. The one who lied to us. Said he could write. This is, oh, you can't read either. Damn it. <laughs> can he write? What wrong with people who not read or write? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> if he hits him, he has to hit Ricky. He has to hit probably... Yeah. yeah, just Ricky. Wrong, it'd be like it'd be like a Three Stooges punch where you just like punch yeah. everyone in a row. Like, put your faces <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong is lying about it. Oh. <laughs> Greg like not hit. I, I, I start speaking. I switch to high gothic. It's like, <laughs> uh, you know, to think through, through. you know how to in, in, interrogate street scum like this. I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just need them to fill this out. I can then, try. Then we get to uh, I am the interrogation specialist. Oh, wonderful. Where are we going? Where are we going? Excellent question. Um, well, you're you, guys you are were not... presumably headed back to the launch station, having yeah. exhausted your pass and right to be in downtown. <laughs> All right. So we just have to have so we just have to sneak into the watch station with uh, however many prisoners that we arrested illegally outside of our jurisdiction. Well, that's that's why I bring that up. Is maybe you know we need to get them to. We just need to find out where they came, what their names are, and where they came from. Do you think we can like pull into like a back alley or something and squeeze them for that information before we? we Let's go to the sewers where oh, we wonderful. broke up the fucking. Yeah, nobody will bother us there. Okay. Well, okay. That's, that's the plan we have. I, I I just my, let Ricky just goes. Hey boys, I got I got an idea, and it's a good what? one, and it'll it'll definitely work. Always. All right, check this out. And I I go up to the guy. I was like, all right, do you see this man? Do you see him? It's, it's just oh, a squiggly drawing of so a guy. So you're, you're holding up a squiggly drawing of a guy. Yeah. He goes. He goes. Uh. Look at this. Yeah. So he's got. Yeah. He's got the things coming out of his face. Those are wires. Yeah. 
That's my buddy yeah. Colin. He's not happy, as you can see. Colin's not a happy guy normally, but he has this uh, this affinity. What what is it called? Affinity for birds. He likes birds a lot, and he feeds people he doesn't like to his birds. See how angry he is at you? Because that's what he's going to do. He's going to feed you to his birds if you don't tell us who you are, are you, and why you're do here. Do you have intimidate? Do you have intimidate? Uh, I don't think I have intimidate as a skill, uh, but I do have charm. Uh, okay. You know yeah. what? I'll allow you to roll for charm to see if you can charm this guy with how insanely inconfident you are at questioning. <laughs> okay. Greg Black may have intimidate. Oh. All right. Greg Black's okay, up Greg Black will be the stick if the carrot fails. Okay. So that's uh, under fellowship. Okay. Uh, that would be a negative ghost rider. I rolled a yeah. snake so eyes. So the guy just laughs at you. Snake and eyes. He, he, spits, <laughs> he spits on your painting. 11. Yeah. On. And I'm like. Yes, Co Colin's not gonna like this. Can you go into more psychic disciplines than the one you started with? Yeah. All right, figure that how out. Do you, how do you interrogate? Or because I could br I could eat some brains if I want. See, I put your name right there, so I'm telling Colin that you did that. Okay, so intimidate is well, you role play it, and then you roll under your strength. Yeah. yeah. So so how how are you going to interrogate this guy? Or intimidate, interrogate, or intimidate him weed, weed by interrogating him in whatever Grig lacks. Like what is Grig lacks fashion of asking a question in a tough way? Yeah. Uh, so answer Grig lacks smash. <laughs> he goes. He goes. Yeah. Well, you don't look so tough. So I have to be under my under strength, huh? Grig lack pretty strong. Oh, dice float in midair. Uh, Grig lacks so strong. Three. He hold dice in error. Without uh, hands. 59. I might have to smash him. <laughs> Greg Leg, oh. take a knee. Yeah. So so you, you <laughs> did not you you did not pass, I'm taking it, from from your attempt to scare him and threaten to smash. So did you want to smash him perhaps? Yes. To see if that adjusted his attitude. Yes. All right. Uh roll. <laughs> So what's the situation? Are we like in a car or something? Yeah, yeah you're in the back of the, the back of the truck. Yeah, you're in the back of the truck on the bridge, driving through a heavy rainfall. These guys are all kind of tied and chained up. Okay, all um, I need to know is can I charge or not? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, look. So here's, here's how this is going to go. You're going to roll me a D10, have it, plus your strength bonus. That's how hard you hit him with your bare hand. D10 plus strength bonus. D10, have it, plus your strength bonus. D10 what? D10 have it. You roll oh, the half. hand and then you... Griglack can't use magic that. sword? Well, you could. <laughs> but that would kill him. <laughs> didn't you say you didn't want to hit him? Griglack not understand. Um, it okay, Griglack. Uh, I do want to question these guys at some point. Four for eight. <laughs> <laughs> Greg okay. Like you just punch that guy's head flat. He is dead. <laughs> you just <laughs> and and the other two guys go, oh shit! Uh, uh like what? no own strength. Yeah, and the other two guys go, we'll talk. We'll I can talk. heal him. Jesus I can heal him. Christ. I can heal Gentlemen, him. Sinkers is not his torture, it's the abusement talk and the also main attraction. Do, does, oh, does, does, does the healer minor power bring people back from the dead? That's no. a very gray area. <laughs> like Smash, if you bring him back to life. If you bring him back to life, he's going to be a zombie or something. <laughs> or some zombie. Hence, hence my wording of Rick gray will be area. Cursed if you bring him back. <laughs> I'm a necromancer now, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys better start talking. It's like what the captain says. It's going to turn into an abusement park in here. Oh my god. That sounds creepy. All right, I just I just asked him, okay, we just need to know your name, your planet of origin, how and what you were doing, your prior profession to being garbage men, and how the hell you got here. Or Greg like, smash. <laughs> and they're just like terrified because they're just they just watched you out of nowhere like threaten to smash a guy and then just wrap a punch his head flat. You know? <laughs> so they're just like, oh god. <laughs> Greg like lick fingers. Oh, finger looking good. Greg Lack looking good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's over on the chicken chain. Ugh. So it, the the guys start telling you, and it, it becomes very obvious they're off worlders. They're from Necromunda, and these guys are really nasty gangers who the Imperium 
snapped up in an Arvate's raid and put on a prison transport. However, at some point mid-transit, they were taken off that prison transport and put into normal quarters like everyone else. And then, for some reason, these guys don't know, they were given really good job. They seem not to be able to understand it, though. They are simple street idiots. Hmm, Did you see what they're told? But we got all the information Groves asked us for. Yes, and he says all, all they all they know how to tell you is that you know all all they know what to do is what they were asked, and letters kept showing up telling them to go to newer and better job. In fact, one of the guys says, "Hell, I was even a doctor for a week." How about end up <laughs> a week? <laughs> he just kind of okay. shrugs. So is there any indication that once they've come on world, they've done any real terrible things? No. All right. They so we're not being... giving them the comb. <laughs> I, know. Okay, I, I think we need Damn to it. drop them off and have some way of contacting them in the future because they're probably going to want us to follow up on these fuckers. <laughs> All right. We'll drop them on the bridge. Why not? Yeah, Colin needs to feed his birds. No. Kick the doors open and yeah, just out the back and let them walk the back. We're driving. <laughs> oh my Don't god! No, no. I mean, we're, we're nearly at a standstill anyway. We'll just stop, kick them out the back, and let them walk. And so, so you the shot track. them and kidnapped them, and now you're and just gonna dump them, them off in traffic and be like, "Bye." bye. No, we got We got to do somewhere that's less public. Well, where's their garbage depot at? We'll just drop them off at the garbage it's depot. Back there. Yeah. Well, oh, is it back there? I thought that was yeah, just a garbage you. truck. Okay. I'd say just pull into a street where nobody's, where there isn't a lot of traffic. And just dump them out. Like walk home, clown. Well, back on on my home world, like we used to like when people got annoying, we like put them in the garbage truck. And we just pulled the lever, and they just disappeared into the garbage world, which is where they belong. <laughs> The garbage oh, yes. world. They scream the for garb- a second, but sometimes going through the garbage world portal takes like a lot out of you, and Six you know, sec. it, it kind of looks like it kind of looks like they got smushed, but they did, and it's garbage world. It's what my grandma told me. Ah, uh, I see. She read the Canticles of Saint Zach. <laughs> I, I who? Never mind. She yelled at me and told me to learn plants. I'm sure, she couldn't read. Well, you've done her very proud. No, she tried so, to kill me uh, twice. Oh. And, and then one day the feds came to love her. my crops, take me away. So there, uh, there is a beat on the Vox. All right, this is Delta. Delta, actual G seventeen. We show you on grid report. <laughs> uh, w- w- we're on the bridge now. Yep. Uh, affirmative. We're on the bridge, making our way back towards station now. Uh, estimated time. Or- hey, how long is it going to take? Uh, it depends on who gets out of my way. Can uh, I pull powers from? Disciples of Dark Gods. Estimated time arrival one hour? Within, yes. What? Yeah, what, one hour or less. All right. Delta Actual G17, report to station for additional tasking and mandatory vehicle overhaul cycle. Uh, affirmative. Delta out. G17 out. Yeah, they want to do some stuff to our vehicle and give us more stuff to do. I, I really hope they don't put us on a foot patrol. They, they honestly need to change that tiny man in the box because his voice is starting to get really annoying. Oh. <laughs> Oof. So, <laughs> as, oh, as you're rolling shit. along, as you're rolling along with the vehicle, you find that you pass by the guard shack from last time. Oh, all those fuckers! But as you peer in, they're <laughs> all different people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm still flipping them off. As so we're... you're just flipping off completely different people. And they're like, what? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Just standing out in the rain, They're like we have, with a poncho and a rusty rifle. Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> we uh, we have a tasking. I do not have time to inspect their troops. All right. <laughs> so as you, as you pull into G seventeen, uh, Kelsa is waiting for you in the bay, and he's he's smoking a corn cob pipe, and he's <laughs> looking like he is. yeah, he's smoking a corn cob pipe, and he's looking like he's taking a break, and he's like, "Hey, boys, you enjoy the city?" Uh, yeah. Very interesting, yes. So, um, I heard y'all had some trouble on the bridge. Not really. (laughs) You guys just said two different things. Not really, indeed. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a liar. He's not. Oh. (laughs) One always tells the truth. One doesn't. I I, I go into (laughs) extreme detail about my interaction with the gate guard. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, that's what you that's what you're saying the trouble. That's our story. All right. I dig it. <laughs> so he's like, "Yeah, man. Those guys can be pretty crazy. It's, they don't it's pay not much. Crazy. It's it's lazy. I I cannot stand a sentry who does not take his post seriously. It's like veins are popping out of my neck. <laughs> he's like, "Man, that sounds terrible." Anyways, <laughs> Uh, it, it's starting to rain something awful out there. I'm glad y'all are here and back home safe. Uh, your Torox is due for maintenance, so get what you need. Y'all are doing street patrol. Ah, I knew it. Make sure to bring a flashlight and a shovel. Which street? Why a shovel? You never know when you need a shovel. It's all even, Kelso. What are we gonna? How are we gonna dig? Sometimes you find stuff. I used to be a garbage man, man. Are you telling us to, to run salvage while we're out on? on the street patrol well sometimes you gotta make ends meet you know that's okay. how do you think i got this fine walk i uh, intended i got a question uh yeah. how long is it going to take to mate the fence <laughs> god damn it mike can you hit this guy or do i have to what feel free <laughs> <laughs> Kelsa just how gives long? you a slap and is like, stop talking. Ow. <laughs> how long till we get our, our ride back, sir? Oh, about, I don't know. Great. All right. I mean, I, I don't speak techno bling bling. Speaking of, I'm going to grab the armor and the rifle that we grabbed off the guys who attacked us. Ah. And I'm going to carry them to Colm's. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> yes. One moment. I must change the music. <laughs> <laughs> all right well, uh, i'm gonna be down my fight. sidearm because there's no way i'm gonna haul that fucking big ass browning all around everywhere yeah i'm, I'm also gonna carry the uh four barrel shotgun on the sling i i'm gonna go to him too because i need to get some ammo <laughs> some ammo so you you guys managed to go to Colm after being told that you're going to go on a foot patrol while they're working on your vehicle the armory door is actually open. Mm. Out wafts visible tendrils of oil incense and odd electronic noises. I walk past the door to the counter mm. and smartly mm. ring the bell mm. once. Mm. You got that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Home rises up from underneath the counter and you just see his eyes and he's looking at you like a lost animal. Is he so high? <laughs> Hell corn. That is what they call me. I I have for you a, a task, a question. And I put the MGC Model 4 in the armor on the table. These appear to be sanitized equipment. I cannot find any numbers. What can you tell me about? He scans them and you see the lasers of his optics flying across the metal. And he goes, low alpha count denotes manufacture Northern Island chain. Irregularities in steel count indicates poor forging techniques. This is stolen. From whom? I will investigate. This is a crime. Thank you. Good thing we're crime fighters. <laughs> Just make sure you call the little man in our box so he can... His, his mechadendrites snake over the weapon and slowly pull it back <laughs> under the counter. But then you hear it <laughs> disassemble it into pieces which rattle onto the floor and roll away. I just imagine one of them picks up a chicken nugget and like disappears under his robe. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't he have chickens? No, he has like little birds, I think, or something like that. Yeah, he's... he's... Uh, taken a liking to the local blackbird population. <laughs> Maybe some the pigeons the, as well. And some of the elderly. Yes. Some of them. Yeah. They're Meals living a better the life this way, honestly. <laughs> what are they going to do? Like rot away in that apartment building with the mecha grandpa next door while she watches so, Jeopardy? Uh, he, he hands you <laughs> a metal sphere mm. with a pin and a latch on it. And it's about the size of a canteen. <laughs> okay. And he goes, here, should you find anything that troubles you, this will take care of it. I made it in my sleep. And he Thank releases you. it. All right. I, I take it. Is there, there's no markings or anything? No on it? markings other than the cog. 
Of course. I'm going to use that with special hands later. It's a Mechanicus. <laughs> it's a Mechanicus Pokeball. <laughs> Rats Good, except, it you. except it only takes their bone. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> they just so go it's just like a, a wet salami of a person on the ground going. <laughs> Boneless is a curse. Yeah. He goes. Was there any other pressing matter? I press the carapace armor towards him as well. He examines it. And he goes. This belongs to the planetary guard. Or did. This is missing from inventory. This is mm. child sized rattlings. Did this? Yes. He holds it up and breathes in and smells it. And he goes, The foul stint lingers in my memory. I hate them all. Excellent. Good to know. Next character is going to be a rattling. <laughs> oh no, every rattling we capture goes to Colm now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're the new birds. Allowing yes. him to disassemble each one until he figures out a, the best way to exterminate them all. Bullet through head, see him work. Or use magic sword. Using the yeah. power grid, I found a way to kill them all instantly. Observe. <laughs> if you ignite the atmosphere, there is no need for breathing. Um, so, yeah, so <laughs> Colm right. just nods and goes, progress upon your duty I will be watching or my birds will hmm. perception check uh um do I have that idea yeah perception 46 ooh when did I get a purple dice is it awareness perception that? or just perception straight up um awareness okay really I got a 4 I passed oh yeah you realize you're being watched from above the door frame by now cybernetically enhanced seabirds. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wonderful. I nod to them as well. They uh, nod back. Conclude. One of them is smoking. <laughs> Dude, I I honestly so many seabirds, I just imagine them these days will just pick up a cigarette. Yeah. Um, Alright. That concludes my business with Colm. I need to go speak to the captain. Alright. I, I just need ammunition. Colm uh, just throws ammo at you. Yeah, no, because I, he doesn't like talking to you. No, he no, just, he, I, I he, got, I got he, one thing to say though. It's no, well, what I'm saying is like while you're talking to him, he just opens a like coffee can of <sighs> loose ammo, some of which is the correct size, and just pours it out on the top. And he's like, "Here you are, like candy." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here you go, candy for the children. And I, yeah, like a little pillow sack just. <laughs> Yeah, he just <laughs> all on the counter. Like a character treater. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So um how much ammo shotgun ammo did I get from that? Just so I could put it Um in let's just say uh roll me uh three D ten for pistol and three D ten for shotgun. Okay. Okay, so we'll do and then And we'll say it's that much ammo. Three. Three D ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh so nine, one, and then and this is to Four. check how many rounds actually you have. Yeah, so really I got, quick, DM. Uh, yeah. When you're channeling, do you have to meet or beat threshold? Uh, meeting is considered beating, as far okay. as I know. If you meet it, it's good. So I got 914 on the first 3D10. Okay, so that's uh, 17. 17? Okay, so 17. Cool, cool. Um, Wait, no. 914. <laughs> Did I just 13, do, 14, 14? Yeah, I God. Nine and one is ten, and <laughs> four is fourteen. Oh my God! I just did retarded math. No, it's okay. I, I just want lack see. of sleep is killing me. All right, uh, um, let's keep and, going. And then for the pistol ammo, let's do that again. So fourteen for shag. Yeah, got it. And five, so six, eight, and five. All right, so that is fourteen plus five, nineteen. So nineteen for the pistol. And 14 for the shed. 19 for the pistol? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and, the, and the rest of the cartridges are either like bent, broken, bad, way off load. <laughs> you know, just it, it's obvious that this is shit from all the reloading press. Oh, no. It, and it, you're, you're basically talking to a guy who 
probably found shit like this on the street and he had yeah, to figure he, out how to he dig probably through. clawed cartridges like this out of the gutter to start gunfights nothing calm it does will ever surprise ricky or make him feel uncomfortable because he's just he's seen far worse and far more disturbing shit and at this point he just smokes and forgets about it because his brain is like a goldfish um so uh i have one last thing for calm i drew this while i was at uh grove's office this is for you calm takes it okay yeah he, he just he, no it. he just he cleanly like a finger comes out and neatly partitions the top of the drawing off mm -hmm. and then he carries it with a reverence slowly and adheres it to the armory ammunition storage oh i got on the hey, fridge actually now i'm looking at it on the camera it kind of looks like a hieroglyphic in, in a kind of a yeah way. it does yeah. it does no yeah. and, it, and he just goes yeah there, this guy named groves he knows everything about everybody even you colin he knows everything about you he lives in the library downtown it's like a super giant massive library and he has infinite knowledge about everything groves yeah, his name is Groves. He also has a ficus plant. Benedict Bainbridge Groves. Yeah, that's the guy. Error, file not found. And he closes the door. <laughs> he knew the full name of file not found. Yeah, it's probably for the best for his own probably sake. Probably blocked. So yeah, like, he's probably like, gone. he's like, oh, did you say him? Yeah, uh, I'm closed. Bye. <laughs> anyway, no, that's all I wanted was the ammo and just to get, show you that picture I drew. That was the last session's thing. So that's it. Sorry. Continue on. All right. So, um, deputy, you're going to go see the captain. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we can do that after everybody else does their stuff. All right. Anyone else have any vignettes or ideas? I want uh, to check on Frog. Oh, yeah. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. It's just like, hold on. We got to check on Frog. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Frog okay. very important. Okay. Griglack and, and Uriah. Uriah. <laughs> They're going to the, if it's in the bunker or the, the, yeah. Then the I'm going to go yeah. there too. Okay, so I'm going to my locker. I don't give. A I'm shit trying not to laugh. That's why I had to pause. It's just we got to check on fraud. Okay, <laughs> it's like every D and D game ever. I know. Here, there's a small cobalt in the corner there, and then here's the important NPC. What's the cobalt's name? We <laughs> we did that today. Yes, we did. <sighs> and then Diggs quickly got rid of him, which was a very well done, sir. I kill everybody. So it's it's next to the bullpen. You walk past the people, the chattering machines printing out reports, all the people's names you don't remember. The people that you, Uriah, were once not so long ago fairly close to. But you've risen above that now. Higher Have calling. I? Not really. So not really. um in, in, in at any rate, you have you have managed to rise above or at least climb the stairs <laughs> <laughs> to the to the room. Inside, yeah, you have noticed that there is a tarp covering a damaged section of the wall, and there is a frog sitting on the bunk nearest the door. Oh. Hey, that's a fucking frog. I walk past, I give it the finger guns, and I go to my locker. It, it doesn't seem to recognize you. That's fine, I don't recognize it. Griglack, do you think the frog needs anything? I've never seen such a creature in the flesh. Mm, needs water and bugs. Bugs. Where are we gonna find bugs? Maybe our brainy friend can uh, conjure some. I do have call creature, but it might be a mistake. Then again, <laughs> maybe we should just go to the motor pool. <laughs> <laughs> do you well, want to see got... hell? <laughs> hey hey about, guys, uh, why do we have uh, a could... plague of locusts? <laughs> hey guys, if I could summon demons. Would you want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> I know I would. If I get one like on this post, I'll summon a demon. Likes it? Yeah, likes my own post. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Why not? Let's roll. All right. So you guys, you guys checked on Frog. Frog is there. You gonna get things for Frog, or are you just I'm gonna, gonna get leave water frog for Frog from the sea? Okay, you're getting water for Frog. Yes, okay. this is very important for session time to be dedicated to. I understand. You provide some water for Frog. Here, I'm noting it. Noted. It is noted. Water for Frog. It's in the DM <laughs> notes now. Okay. 
Goat's character just comes up with a new type of okay. uh, form that requires you to fill out whenever you take care of Frog and do all the check boxes. Yeah, it's got a checklist, a compliance. <laughs> yeah, <chart. there's>, yeah. <laughs> the calendar list. So action uh, item list, Frog. Yes, we operate Frog Care in, in two week sprints. <laughs> parentheses <laughs> one one parentheses. Okay, I have I have I have managed to call creature. What? I, I will summon three flies in 13 minutes. <laughs> in 13 minutes, there'll be three flies in here. That's how the that spell is, works. That is creepy specific. <laughs> it's what it says. <laughs> That's Nurgle numerology. Well, I'm just saying. Like, like, grabs his magic. I was like, he needs, he, needs, <laughs> he needs bugs. I know some bugs. So I'm like, oh, it worked. So you All just right. stare off into space and you're like. Yeah, you just see me kind of go like this. You go, and man, you I, like I need distant, some water. You hear screaming and babies weeping, and someone just ages fifty years, and you're like, "Oh well, it's not my problem." We got three flies on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of frog. Yeah. Okay. He just so hears frog Max, is taken no. care of, and you've used the warp to summon flies for a frog. I wonder how those flies will taste. We'll find out. So, <sighs> Falk goes to the captain. All right. Arches the door is door. Three yeah. sharp knocks. All right. So. She goes, uh, come in. Open the door. He goes, sit. And take a seat. He goes, what have you learned? Absolutely nothing yet. But she just she just holds her <laughs> head. <laughs> and she's like, okay, I'm trying so very hard. Because the moment you take off, the Arbitae show up. And they show up with a fucking jet bike. You ever seen a jet bike? Uh, funny enough, yes, I just did. Great. So... I don't ever want to see another Arvates. I don't want to see another jet bike. I don't want to hear them talking about breaking the law, which they said you did. I don't care. I don't want it here. <laughs> Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go on your patrols, and you're going to tell no one. And then at that moment, the phone rings. <laughs> and she picks it up. It's a jet bike. And she lowers it and goes... So you you had bodies in the truck? Body. You can leave them, you can just leave them in the street. <laughs> but we never did dispose of them before we came to the station house. I was hoping that Colm would take care of that. For just me. yeah, I just hose it out. <laughs> she slowly puts the phone back on the table and just goes, "Okay." <laughs> Tell you what you're going to do. You're going to go out, you're going to do your patrol. And I'll deal with the people. Yes. Best boss ever. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know what to say about you guys. Loose cannon. Good Just job. Don't fuck up. You're a loose Dude, cannon. One more and I'll take it. Your what happened? She goes, get out. <laughs> Just get out. Stand up, salute, turn around, march out of the office. You hear the door close and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> And then a minute later, the you hear. And we're just all intently waiting for the flies to be summoned for Frog. <laughs> we want to see if we got to find out if these flies are, are, are the type that Frog likes. It's very oh. important. Yeah, we're all just like I, I hanging walk out into the barracks, and they're all like looking like it's not here yet. I'm like Captain. He's about to yeah, summon I, some I, flies. I, it's going to be I awesome. Did, I legit just turn around and be like, "Yeah, about three flies should be here in like seven, 13 minutes." Just see it. <laughs> and you guys are like. Yeah, <laughs> you're just like this is the look at the vents. Like, where they can it come from? We, we the fucking portal defend. opens up and three flies float yeah. through. Oh, we may need no to defend play. frog. Um, yeah, they, frog will catch them. It's we just bring them. Once we get there, it's frog's job to catch the flies. Assuming Mike, they're normal size. And Mike, go ahead and roll a toughness test, please. Oh no. Mm mm. Mm mm. <laughs> uh, yep. That's oh, yeah, good choice. That's actually one of my lowest stats, actually. It, no, it is the lowest. But you're, but you're Ricky. You're really tough. Uh, yep. No, 50 he's lucky. Yeah. No, I oh, got. Yeah, yeah, I got. I got like 27 toughness. He he could do anything else, but yeah, that's like my lowest at. Yeah. You double over in pain, coughing at random, which <laughs> on the minute of the proclamation, exactly three flies come out of your mouth. Oh God! Oh, that was disgusting. As I pull out a cigarette and light it. <laughs> And the flies start buzzing around the room. Look, flies. 
<laughs> and he goes, <clears throat> that happens sometimes. I saw another, I saw something worse on my home planet. It was, uh, yeah, it's pretty gross. Indeed. And I just go to my locker and start pulling out the little, like, temporary poncho that they issue you. Yeah, it up yeah that, that's what I would, I'm in my locker this whole time as they're doing that. I'm going <laughs> to take out my, my personal gun and kind of shine it up a little bit and put it back and uh, make sure it's loaded. All right. And then hear, I'm going to put on my temporary poncho. <laughs> you, you hear over the uh, intercom. Delta shift report for night foot patrol. Delta shift report for night foot patrol. Well, you mean my feet? No, I, we, we're walking. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh my god. Where are my night shoes at? Yeah, I just realized see. I don't like this job. Yeah. The captain was not pleased with our performance in the city center. Is she ever? Well, she wasn't there. She didn't know what she heroic was, shit we she did. She was nearly impressed earlier, and now she is very much not so. Well, at this rate, we might survive long enough to uh, get Groves to transfer us. So keep it. Maybe up, she would like a jet bike. I can buy her one. <laughs> so uh, we'll do the dead. What's the dead drop again? So we can contact Groves. Uh, you had to use a call box to call him and say what you had heard. And All it's right, a... we'll just do that during the patrol once we're away yeah. from the station. So are we going to go foot patrol the red light district? All right. As you get down to the duty room, Kelso's like, I don't know who you made mad, man. But uh, you gotta you gotta walk out in this shit. He's like, Captain's pissed, man. Some birds attacked her earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> that happens. And he goes, "Well, look, I'm just gonna tell you, you ain't gonna like this, but comms ain't gonna work out there. You're gonna have to use hard lines, like phone boxes. Yep, yeah. okay. call box. You got a set of keys on you. You'll be fine. You guys got a couple of those underellas? Nope. Cool." Birds stole them. They do that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm joking. Happen. Man, this guy's dumb. <laughs> I mean, I, I've seen it. I mean, I mean, I've seen a guy cough up a whole diaper once when I was, uh, you know, on a on a mission back home. Sorry about that. He has stomach flies. It's a disease. Happens every so. Yeah, he's gross. I think right, I had them luck. before you cast your <laughs> <laughs> spell. All right, I I run down Lieutenant Kelso before we kick off. Yeah. Hell, Kelso. Um. What can you tell me about being a trash man on this planet? Because, well, you pick up the garbage, that's about it. Indeed. How is that job assigned? Oh, usually labor lottery. You go where you're told, and that's how the bureaucracy's always been. Mm-hmm. And Even back labor... in the day? No, back in the day, it was appointed. It was who you knew. Mm. Hell, if someone had that kind of authority, they could just say who was what. That kind Imagine of authority that. ain't been seen on this planet in three generations. Right. They, because Indeed. the bureaucracy here definitely wouldn't assign unqualified people for critical jobs. The administrator makes no mistakes. The of course protects. not. Emperor does protect. Indeed. Thank you for this information. All right. Let's get, let's get on. Let's yeah, get let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are you guys rushing for? Wait up. <laughs> You're just taking your time. You're like, is there any of that bread left? Is as he floats behind us. Oh yeah. I cast float. I'm like mm. You're just yeah, you're you're just doing like dolly shot floating, you know? So just T posing down the hallway. Like, oh I'd be T posing if it wouldn't get my hands wet outside, so I'm gonna keep my arms underneath my hat. Oh God. So you're going full regalia with that hat. Yep. All right. So as you guys get out in the rain, kick on your lights, you realize the lights don't work for very far. And as night has fallen, the storm, as predicted, just begins to pour down on you. And it's it's fucking miserable. It's it's heavy. It's the sort of rain that makes you thankful your helmet keeps it out of your eye. It <laughs> makes you hate the helmet because it sounds like somebody is dropping ball bearings on your head. Second, It's the sort of scouring, biting wind and rain that you've grown accustomed to here. It blows up from out on the bay and seems to hang over Sector G-17 like a dirty halo. Somewhere in the distance, you hear stores closing down and merchants headed home. I need to change the ambiance. What moment? Ambiance. The gas max noises I usually make on patrol now sound moist. He's <laughs> <laughs> having to open up with a spit. <laughs> oh, God. They do have a blow valve, though. You know? They do. It's like the Krieger equivalent of having like a camelback. 
<laughs> just slurping I it. Just in, inhale really hard and it pulls water through the filter. It's yeah. Great. All right. So, somewhere out in the distance, you hear stores closing down and merchant at home. And you begin your patrols, squishing and sloshing through the rain, bumping through people. Just six bros. However, two blocks down, you see a pair of headlights in the dark. A vehicle is stopped on the side of the road. I move behind uh, the Krieger. Are they within the lane of travel? They are not. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Okay, so they are stopped outside of normal. They're they're over the white line. They are half on the curve. Uh, can Ricky? Gentlemen. Sorry. We have a parking violation. Can I? <laughs> Can, can I make an awareness Pull out my check? long last. I, <laughs> I want to take a, a awareness check on that, if I can. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's way under. I'm 27, so. Uh, no vehicle identification plate. Now, I, I was wondering, can does Ricky get the sense that it could be a drive-by? No. Maybe. Yeah, like, does it, does it, because he's from a hybrid world. Here's the thing. If I saw something like that in Cleveland, I would immediately leave the street, because that's usually a sign someone, some kid wants to probably do something. Well, you do recognize the vehicle has no plates. They seem to have been removed. And uh, yeah, that's from bad. the door handle, from what you can see. Looks like it's stolen. Looks like it was forced into. Ah, uh, yes. And, and I just tell the I just tell the Krieger, I'm like, hey, hey, look, this guy's about to do a flyby. I hear that. I'm gonna channel a little bit. Under under the poncho and under the leather trench coat, armored trench coat, you hear four hammers cock on the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Rip and tear intensifies. <laughs> and you didn't know that a gas mask could smile, but it's, it's oh boy, it's expression. <laughs> Coat's about to come off like Zukov. Oh man! The hell yes! I'm gonna be stationed behind so I can catch his coat. <laughs> um, right. I channel chameleon on myself, so I just become kind of blurred. so you just become this like shape in the rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. I kind of step All off right. the side, but I yeah. I keep an eye on the situation. And Greg like what did Greg like do? Uh, he threw the car away. <laughs> Greg like what Greg like do? Uh, Greg like uh, get magic sword. Fair. Be careful with that, Greg like. You don't want to be it is raining. in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is raining. Just saying. Yeah, my. I mean, I'm I'm quick draw. So you, I mean, if something pops off, I'm just already like doing that. Yeah. Shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, you've you've cleared your holster, and you're just like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so I <laughs> this will be my eighth one. Walk up on the car like <laughs> fucking Wyatt Earp and Tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just you guys walking up like a fucking posse. Except yep. one guy's not there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my the, god. I'm, I'm like a I'm the invisible guy. Oh my <laughs> We're making just rain we left room for you, but you've you've moved behind. <laughs> we're making spur noises, but we're not making spurs for some reason. We're not wearing spurs. Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> That's just a little warp sound. Yeah. Oh. Okay, anyway, sorry. Walk in here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. As you approach the vehicle, you see there's a man inside it, and uh, he seems lost. He's looking at a map. He's balding. He's thin. He's disheveled. But he looks up and sees you, and he smiles. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> he rolls the window is, down. Is he a half man? Is he small? No. He rolls you the hear window one down. of the hammers get lowered manually. <laughs> <laughs> so. So he goes, uh, hey, um, I'm, I'm just a little lost. I'm, I'm, I'm about to get my bearings. Um, what are you guys doing? Why didn't he just pull over a nice delivery guy? What? Your papers. He goes, oh, I I don't have any. Who's in your backseat? He goes, I, I don't want to. Oh, no. (laughs) Sir? You are resisting a lawful order. Is this the path you wish to take? You cannot goes, take back. He just blanks a minute and he's like, Look, I'm just making a delivery. Why do you have to be do you want some food? 
Sir, we require that you step out of the vehicle. I've got lots of soup. Can I make a sci science check while I'm over here? Okay. I, I also want to do another awareness check now that I'm 17. Than... Way accepted. Yeah. You you don't detect any work fuckery. All right. At, at least not nearby. Okay. Um, I also rolled a 21 on my awareness. You do smell soup from inside the vehicle. Soup? Soup. Like I'm at a cloak. I'm like, hey, can I have some soup? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he goes, yeah. And he reaches down into the floorboards oh, and he no, no, comes no. up. With uh, a pail of soup, and he I hands take, it to you. I take. Oh. <laughs> what the it like? muzzle of the shotgun disappears back under the poncho. <laughs> What's it taste like? It, you can't quite place it. It's exotic and rich and earthy. It, it's not. It's not seafood. It's 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 definitely a land dwelling animal. It's rat. I never had rats. So I wouldn't know. Yeah. Or if you did, it was really good rat, so... I mean, high-end rat, you know, stuff they grow in labs. Mm. All right, is what's the, the door unlocked? Yeah. I open I'm going to step door. back with my suit. Sir, I require that you step out of the vehicle. I need to show you and discuss something. He, he gets up, and he gets out, and he's like, okay, and he gets out of the vehicle. I point to the lack of uh, registration on the vehicle and the evidence that the vehicle is stolen on the door where it's been punched. I start goes, writing up the ticket. He just goes, look, man, I just borrowed car. It's borrowed. Yeah. Ah, and you have no identification papers. Well, like no, I got me. He's, he's like, I, I went down to Central to try to get an identification. It said it would take 13 years. So, yeah. Ah, yes. This is something we can help with. And I push him against the car and start being cuffs on it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fast track hey. your paperwork now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We'll, we'll hey, figure that caption. So he's, he's, he's like, this isn't necessary. I was just picking up meat for my soup. And, and come on. Um, unlawful operation of a business without a permit. Driving yeah, a motor vehicle without a registration. registration. He's like, my Hold soup is good. It's not bad soup. Attempting it's to drive yeah, the it's the it's the not, law so. with food materials. Successfully bribing an officer of the law. Uh, <laughs> I, I walk into the back and I'm like, hey guys, pop the trunk. Uh, I'll lean in and just pour myself more soup but also pop the trunk. Thunk. All right. Hey, dude, it'll be fine. Just just let them do their thing. They, they have to do this once in a while. Okay. <laughs> you pump the trunk. Inside it, you find two burlap sacks. <laughs> they do not smell good. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Am I eating people? I, before I open, I'm, I'm going to do another awareness check. <laughs> uh, it's a very strong smell. I was under what? Uh, yeah, no, I don't pass. So I just immediately go, oh, cool. <laughs> it must be rotten meat or something. So you just start to open the sack without even thinking about it. <laughs> With, without... Because I, I didn't have the way I didn't pass my okay yeah, yeah 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 you you reach your hands inside and you find something very familiar to you and you realize before long the sack is full of severed feet human feet correct yeah the, any rattling feet kind of I, probably I, <laughs> hey the, hey guys he makes feet soup over here look at this there's like a uh, whole cart of feet in here uh, uh, feet uh, yeah he goes he goes excuse me the feet meat is a delicacy. On my home world, Unsanctioned and everyone here seems to like the soup. Selling <laughs> human, uh, se selling human remains for consumption without processing. Was that both bags? <laughs> They're both just the same thing. Both left feet. and right. Yeah. Ah, right. uh, yes, of course. The left is more expensive as it's rarer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this what the boss meant by foot patrol? <laughs> <laughs> ding 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 you have labeled tonight's episode oh my god <laughs> all right uh, we will i'm casting down. forget me on myself so i don't remember uh <laughs> eating, eating, eating the soup oh no okay okay go ahead and roll Lost very wise six plus oh it's way over it's only a six it's only a okay six to yeah. pass, so Huh. Oh, uh, <laughs> could you could you roll um and <laughs> roll willpower, please? Oh, that's cool. I need to use restroom. Uh, a six. A six? All right. Um, I, w I was gonna get you, but damn it, you passed. <laughs> I was I was gonna say uh, you wake up 
with that taste of soup in your mouth and you're like, God, I'm hungry for soup as you're holding a thing of soup. <laughs> <laughs> so it just oh god oh yeah oh, i accidentally cast deja vu so i just keep yeah, taking so more just soup keep like, i can't oh stop <laughs> i feel like i've had this soup before <laughs> i'm just back here like make sure you save me some save me some what oh i got some soup here thanks <laughs> yeah. did you see the I'm, soup I'm, I'm pretty full though here i give him some of my soup uh, is, yeah well is it banned that i wrote this whole thing around that pun of foot patrol no, yeah. this is fucking brilliant. Well, I, okay, it's it's a bad pun, but a good pun. At sorry, the same time. I've been on a dad joke kick. It's fucking brilliant. Um, no, I was gonna. But ask you didn't the, add he was destroyed at the end of it. <laughs> I was We're gonna, not done yet, are we? No, all I was right. gonna ask. Uh, I was gonna like take the soup, start drinking. I'm like, so um, where are all the shoes? <laughs> good question. <laughs> all right. So what did I miss? That's a pun on foot patrol. Yeah, oh. so that's... I wrote this whole thing around a pun. Sorry. Okay, alright. I feel bad. But no, you're really. fine. I just I came back and everybody was laughing and clapping, so I assumed we were fighting a demon now. No, so Mike <laughs> Mike, Mike said he was simping the soup and then was like, so where's all the shoes? <laughs> like, like, that was his character's next question. So, uh, as I'm eating it, I'm like, mm, oh, pff, fucking toenail. Hey, uh, so where are the shoes? He goes, I don't know, ask the guy at the body barn. Where's that at? He goes, I... No, no more question. No, 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 more question. Just one more question. Literally just I the... take the shotgun and press it very firmly against his kneecap and go... No, no, press it against his One hand. more question, if you would. He's like, dude, <laughs> you can take the soup. Tell him what happened to the last unfortunate <laughs> individual who didn't our, answer... Our last questions. gentleman who did not want to answer questions was without his head, yes? So, I have one more power I never used. Can I try it? <laughs> I'm going through the ball right now. you are magic. I just refuse to acknowledge it. So, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do fearful aura. <laughs> you need to really carefully read that. You twist reality in such a way to make you appear more sinister and dangerous. You become the source of dread for anyone who looks upon you. Want this anyone? power is active. Anyone? You have fear rating anyone. of two. Who looks upon you. Or, and every 10 points I go over is an extra fear rating. So you guys, okay, everyone walk like... Don't look at me, I'm going invisible. Everyone go far away from me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I just yeah, I you took don't that wanna... a while ago and I'm just like, when is that going to be useful? Not okay. around my people. I'm trying, to Fuck th it. I'm trying to think what my character would do uh, if he sees you. Yeah, if I see you, he's just going to shoot you. And I don't know, Greg Black uh, no, will probably... it's going to be a fear test. Yeah, yeah you might... Most out. people started with sound constitution. Greg or not sound very constitution. Super I'm faith. <laughs> oh, I rolled a six. I know I wouldn't. It wouldn't be smart. I did that as an intelligence check to see if I'd know if they would shoot me or not. I'm not doing it. <laughs> All right. I yeah. already see his four barrel out, and Ricky's very quick to the draw. And I don't want to <laughs> see the magic sword up front. And nothing like <laughs> someone being belligerent because they don't see what the problem is versus screaming and shitting as hard as they can. <laughs> How many a lot of shit day? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm here. Right. <laughs> Let's impound the car, take him back to the station, do a proper interrogation. All right, you 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 drag him and his by uh, his hair. Oh, by his hair in in the rain slick street. And uh, what about the feet? Are you are you gonna? That'll stay in the car when they impound it, so we don't have to like carry oh. a bag of feet around. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Or even better, we just uh, take the bag of feet. And Can I drive it? The interrogation desk, like, explain these. <laughs> <laughs> Just dump you it on the been table. Defeated. Put him like close <laughs> face into it. Like, tell us what you know. All right. Where Play the he? evidence in front of the captain. Hey, we found these feet. So, so you you managed to come back from your foot patrol like <laughs> ten minutes in. Well, too good. I want to first. I want to go to the phone box. Or I can't it. hear you. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's that yeah. microphone. All right. I want to go to the phone box to call it in, but before I do that, I want to call our contact. Oh, uh, yes, right. yes, yes. So you you put your keys into the call box. You turn them; they jangle. You put in the number that Groves gave you, mm -hmm. and it rings, and it rings, and it rings, and you hear a click as it's picked up on the third ring, and you go, you just hear silence. We got the information. Hello. 
Oh, just uh, hello, Lord Lord Groves. We, we have the information you requested. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Speak up, please. Yeah, you gotta bring the microphone closer. We have the information you requested, Lord Groves. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, do you want me to just read it off to you now? Oh, yes, please. Please. Great. Just name Goliath McMus Arnold McMuscle. Yes, yes. Climate of yes. origin, Necromunda, former oh, I occupation. Thought as much. Former occupation, Ganger. How did they get those jobs? Somebody assigned them to him. They didn't. It was anonymously through paper, like someone with a lot of pull in the administratum. There's no one in the administratum higher than I. At least here. Interesting. Maybe they it were was on you. a prison transport, and they were suddenly transferred over to a civilian transport. Uh, one of them was a doctor for a while. Uh, I took down as much information about their work history as I could, but they didn't remember a lot of the details, and we didn't have time to do a proper invest investigation. Where are they now? We dumped them on the side of the road near the bridge, leading to Magna City. No, we left them in the truck. Yeah. And they were in the back of the truck when they began the maintenance cycle. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, they got back power the truck, which, is under, which is being power washed and undergoing maintenance rituals. Uh, may I ask a question, if it wouldn't be awfully Of course, Lord Groves. Are you retarded? I'm not in... No, but the person in charge of me is. I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I shall be in touch. He, I, I like. I'm gonna pat deputies back. It's okay. And then you're you're not the only one. <laughs> Groves hangs up. The line Start. goes dead. Great. It's not nice to call people pop tarted. <laughs> Were you eavesdropping? Hot. I can't hear you. What'd you say? I'm calling the station. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't tell, don't tell, don't tell, mom. <laughs> you call the station, and and it rings, and it gets picked up, and they're like G7 scene central. Central, this is G7. This is Delta. Yeah. Um, we, on our foot patrol, we, we made an arrest and impounding a vehicle. Uh, we're bringing uh, it over. You guys have been gone 10 minutes. I, oh, yes, and we found a guy selling human parts as food. On, and well, I'll set, and I just start reading off the list of violations. I think. Okay, it fine. It's real. Okay. Just, it's real. <laughs> just bring, bring it. Yeah. Okay. Bring it in. I guess. Everything else you did not out. What? Acknowledge Delta out. Yeah, hang up. Uh, hang up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't hang up. You gotta hang up. Yeah, it's 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 night shift, so they're you know <laughs> they're just like fuck you. It's night shift and it's on the phone, so nobody else is hearing it. They don't care. Yeah, it's just like go away. So um, you bring the vehicle in, and the feet in, and the man in. Um, some of the uh, attendants and intendants. Uh, make sure to stomp the guy off for uh, interrogation. And uh, the captain is busy yelling at some garbage men that she has in a headlock. She shoots you a glare that says you should be on patrol <laughs> and goes back to giving these people the crippler crossface. Wow. Nice. I'm so turned on right now. <laughs> Let's let's get back into the streets. It's safer there. Yeah, I need a cool off. Oh, I wanted to interrogate him. No, that's that's not. They need a, they need coverage. You'll get whatever scraps are left after the captain has her fun with them. Yeah, the, right. she has a lot of steam to blow captain. off. Yeah, captain needs the... to get off too. Man. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get back out there then. All right, All right. Sergeant Lord Groves thinks you are mentally deficient. <laughs> He's probably right. <laughs> Not, when I'm done with him, he will be. <laughs> uh, yeah, I went. I went from two to insanity to ten just in like the four days I've known you. <laughs> it's gonna be a long week. <laughs> so you hear, you hear uh, as you're walking. You decide to go the other way around the block. Yeah. <laughs> the as, car, you're walking, it, as you're walking through the rain. You hear a kid crying. A small child. You guys hear oh, a cat? No. Invisible. <laughs> hey, kitty. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a kid crying, and he's got his hands in his pockets, and he's looking down. He's just in the rain. You hear four hammers cock on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do an awareness check. So this, is, so this is not the first time Ricky has seen this kind of yeah. setup. 
Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, I just pass under it. Just pass under it by one point. The kid, the kid is really a kid. It is not a ratling. <laughs> That's exactly. I was just like, I bet you this is like some somebody in disguise trying to fuck with us. It, it is not someone in disguise. You're not sure if the crying is real. It seems maybe a little exaggerated. I was also going to say, like, it's we've seen like on Hyver Worlds, you know, they'll they'll put a kid out there and you go, oh, it's to get yeah, the tourists children to to basically lure you to to mug you. Flashback. Mm-hmm. So I'm just looking up at the roofs, like looking for any anything that looks like somebody trying to fucking snipe at us. Yeah, you you, you don't see any. Just a kid crying in the rain. Is he near any this building? Painful rain. How is the kid handling it? <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, very he's, sharp. Like ah, he's just fuck. getting soaked. He's just crying, and he looks up and sees you guys and starts walking toward you. It's a bob. Let him come to us. And he he's he's there's this little snot nosed kid, and he tugs. On your jacket, and he goes, Mister, Mister, the Watwing told he took my bike. He owned the building my parents live in. He's a mean man. He took my bike because it was dirty. And please help me. In this rain, it managed to remain dirty. Yeah, it's a shitty bike. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I'll give you all the money I have, and he reaches into his little pocket and takes out two rusty coins. I start writing down, attempting to bribe an officer of the law. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go over and take the coins. He goes, "It's all I have. I've been selling the lemonade all summer." Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Where do they get the lemons? It's synthetic. Oh. Plus, it's, it's, it's urine with it's, sugar. It's squeezed out of rat pancreas. Well, where is this rat? Are we gonna? He, he points to the building and he goes, "It's Mister Bill Blighter. He's a mad, mean man." Has Can you give my bike back? I start. He stole the bike from you. Yeah, he taked well, it. Well, Sergeant, that sounds like theft. Yeah, let's And we would also be able to go indoors out of the rain. <laughs> All right. We'll take the case. I, I was just okay. going to say, hey, where's your grandma at? Some metal man took her away. Oh, no. <laughs> your grandma? Yeah. That's weird. That happens sometimes. Don't worry, you'll be all right. <laughs> she have an exosuit? <laughs> oh my god! She, she does now. Jesus Christ! <laughs> she got a new job at the police. Right, I'm already walking. <laughs> I'm already walking into the building. All right. I'm not going to tell this kid. Into the building, <laughs> you, you you find that it's the nice like you know terracotta frescoed floors and everything. Mm-hmm. It's actually a nicely upkept older building, hmm. and you see. Uh, the superintendent slash um, homeowner's office, and uh, it says Broderick Bill Blighter, Esquire, on the door. It's all hand carved, <laughs> and the door looks really nice. Gentlemen, I do not think we should be fucking this a lawyer. Where he puts his gun away, like oh, a lawyer? Those are illegal on my planet. It is a weak profession. It has nothing to do with glorious war. <laughs> <laughs> as you as you say that, you just hear, in the lobby. <laughs> yeah, as, as you just scream that, you hear it from inside being like, "Who darkens my door, chameleon?" Yeah, I just door inside. I just knock on his door, like knock knock. <laughs> he he opens it, and you see the fattest fucking rattling you have ever seen. Is he I as mean, white as he's tall? He is three times as white as he's tall. Holy shit! Hey, baseball, we're looking for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have you know. He's B word fat, by the way. He goes, What's that? What is the meaning of this? Surely you jest. Green tea is much better than black. No, I'm kidding. Um, so he, he just, uh, I just go, uh, Hey, have you seen a bike? Well, uh, uh, there, there was a bike in the. Uh, well, no, I do not ride bicycles. Oh, I, of course. Clearly. Yeah, I uh, know. I'm just saying, you said you saw a bike just like a second ago. Where'd it go? I d- d- don't know anything of the sort. No. All right. High real scrutiny. Interrogation. <laughs> Is scrutiny reading people? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, Ricky uh, just walks like, damn it. The bike's not here. <laughs> I hold it. it might be yours until we manage to track I'm it. Asked, I failed by like 12, so never you don't know if he's up to something or if you just don't like him because he's a ratling. But he's very <laughs> well. I am heavily sweaty. skewed. 
I don't care for ratlings, but it's not my fault. It was the way I was raised. Your He's also guy. very sweaty. I'm not racist, but <laughs> <laughs> I got some jokes. <laughs> He's like, well, if that's all, I'm, I'm going to go finish my dinner now. And he starts trying to close the door. I put my foot so that he can't close the door. Please, sir. I have just for you one question. If Can I get like a bite. peek inside really quick? And I'm going to use interrogation, uh, which okay. I have at a plus 10. That is right. willpower. And I rolled a 39. And I start taking notes. Can okay. I do a perception check in while the door is open? A four. You see in that quick glance that this guy has all the finest of food, including many things off world, like they don't have import export stamps on them. The most luxurious of the luxuries, chocolates, candies, cookies, <gasps> tax <alcohol>. evasion. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of whisper to uh, Ricky and uh, a goat's character. He's forgetting his name. What's his name? Uriah. Uriah. You can just call uh, Uriah. Him. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Ah, and Ricky, I'll be like, we gotta find something to pin on this guy. I'm like, you guys gotta be careful. These fatlings are really dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> right, where, where are the import stamps on those goods, sir? He goes, uh, no more questions. <laughs> no, Some cookies for you. Cookies? Cookies? <laughs> Wait, that's, that's a cookie. bribing a me. You're bribing Officer me. I'll take law. it. Greg? Right, that one. Greg, like, what's goes, a cookie? I'll, I'll, I'll give you the. I'll give you each two gross <laughs> eggs and a basket of cookies each. How, how does that sound? Two hundred and eighty. What? What the devil are we gonna do with two hundred and eighty-eight <laughs> eggs each? Don't uh, uh, ask any questions. Just no. Some some very fine candies for you. Enough, Greg. Like, fine bike. Greg, like, just pushes Put in. Him in <laughs> He can't get get grip on the head because it's just so fat. Yeah, he's, he's, he's all so covered fat. in grease. His just, head whoop. is like a nipple. You know what I mean? It just barely sticks out. You couldn't get him in a headlock. Greg like pimple pop. <laughs> I, I tap your eye on the shoulder. Give me your handcuffs. I give him my handcuffs. I clip two together so that I can get him around his back. <laughs> oh, no. So you, you handcuff him. He's like, oh, what does it mean in this? These, these are all fine items. Fine, fine items. I purchased. Their their fineness is is their fine, but that's marred because you didn't pay taxes and didn't fill out paperwork. Because uh, I, I I purchased them. I they're mine. Where did you purchase them from? The store. What store? The 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 one in the sewers. What? Well, he he's handcuffed. So I'm gonna help like scoot my way in and just go for the chocolates. <laughs> so you're like, you're like, this is very criminal. Yeah. I'm just verifying they're actually chocolates. Ricky yeah, sees us and goes, "What are those?" Five, five hundred and ninety-nine chocolates made it back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, try one, Ricky. They're, they're they you might like them. <laughs> yeah, he goes and eats one. He goes, ah, ah. <coughs> <laughs> All right, Sarge, do we want to interrogate him here Gross. or do we want to just take him back to the station? More for me. Griglack not leave without bike. Griglack, find bike. <laughs> Griglack, find bike. It's when we're inside, do we see the do. bike anywhere? <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, Any bike will do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring back, like, the need the right. to the kid. We bring back like a 30 speed. <laughs> uh, it's a good so, bike. So, um, as, as you were... As as you guys are searching for the bike, deputy, uh, strength check, please. Mm. Strength check. Yeah, his strength for his fat stat. And does he have a fat stat? Hey, who knows? He does. Uh, I, I, I did stat him as being more of a thirty-seven. Thing. My strength is forty-seven. All right, he he ta- he leans forward with his full body weight, trying to get and roll out of the cuffs, <laughs> and you're like holding on. It's like holding on to a pit bull that's taking off. <laughs> <laughs> does he have hair? He does. I use the hair as a handle to bring him back upright. He's like, oh, 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 oh. I, I fell. I was not trying to run. And we resisting arrest. I'm going to put him in the corner so that he can't roll forward. <laughs> <laughs> and just like hold him there with my knee. Okay, Greg like to start smashing things. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, so- Greg, like, we need this. It's evidence. <laughs> So Grig likes just smashing stuff. Like, what, what do you want to smash? I don't know. What's he got? I'm blocking him from anything I want. I'm just like, not, not here, not here. Just things like chairs and walls. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. 
Okay, um, you hear footsteps coming from out in the lobby. Oh no. Start, start talking or he's, he'll smash more things. <laughs> he's like, I'm, I'm, I'm in the corner, I can't move, I'm very large. Yeah, but you can talk. You can't move, you can speak. Well, do I is, need to is, move your jaw for you, sir? Is, as soon as as soon as you start interrogating him more, uh, Kelso pops his head in. Fucking Kelso! You are literally been? like forty steps from the police station. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes, he goes, boys, you just walked in a building, and and he looks around. He's like, holy shit, this guy's got a lot of shit. Yeah, it's all illegal. We're arresting him. God damn, you guys are good. Well, thank and, you. And so as Kelso walks are over we? to the stuff, as Kelso walks over to the stuff, he takes a flash. He's like, oh, yeah, man. He just puts it in his coat. <laughs> he's like, he's like, hey, them, them little mint cookies, the captain loves those. Just saying. <laughs> Green Black asks him what a bike is. <laughs> Two boxes now. Bravo yeah. squad comes in here, just it's... starts grabbing shit. Everyone's like eating as they're walking out the door. Yeah, the guy yeah. is helplessly stuck in the corner. And everyone's just like, oh. yeah, you, you leave him there. He's like crying. He's like, time time lapse. So you see the cops coming and going as the room empties and he just deflates. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But no, yeah. So, so he's like, man, so what is this crime about? Do you see any in, do you see any stamps on those goods? No. He smuggled Viva. them and he said he bought them from a store in the sewers. I'm pr- that Oh, that's, that's the night market. market. Those guys are terrible. They're always stealing shit. All right. The night market's back. I'll put it on the board. All right, break his legs and, you know, uh bring the stuff back to the station so we can dispose of it. <laughs> he does air quotes. <laughs> Most excellent. Griglack. <laughs> yeah, and he just he just walks out, and he goes, "Oh, uh, who told you to go in here?" Don't worry, we have uh, a warranty. My, we were allowed to be here. We had a voluntary public contact with the sir, and during the routine use of our, and he's just using cop talk to make it seem like we were legally in this room. He's like, "All right, man, just I'm the captain's beating the shit out of people, so I just." I want to go for a walk, and I see you guys walk into the building, and then I see shit start breaking. I'm like, hey, if there's a party, I want to dance. Ah, uh, yes. The, the party follows us, clearly. Seems like. And so he just walks off, you know, with with a few boxes of cookies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Good man. I yeah, yeah. for the cat. Uriah? Right? Yeah. Three boxes of the Thin Mint cookies. Gift wrapped. We need to make it happen. Okay, and I'm gonna get it. I'm, I'll get to work on that, and I'll get another box of uh, cookies in a sack of cash, if I or like, yeah, cash, because the kid's gonna uh, some like just you know money for the kid. <laughs> and mind, the two mind. rusty coins. Put the two rusty coins in the bag. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you softies. <laughs> coins. Let's go. What about bike? He'll the, buy a new the, bike. The, the, He'll buy the like fat a halfling. Is just like I. Uh, Oh, that wretched thing! He he ran into me and it it broke. I said I would fix it, but in reality, I had it destroyed. Hold on, hold on one minute. Did you try to ride that bike? No. <laughs> yes, you did. I can't see you, but I assure you, my my face is very serious right now. <laughs> Quintus, Quintus, Quintus. Hmm. Coins. Let's go. All the coins. Yes, the two rescue ones. Yes. Two coins. Yep. All right. Um, and, and can I can I use awareness to see if I find anything useful for my character in this room that I might sure. Like, yeah. Yeah, we're we're open like a bike. This. Yeah, we are, we are pillaging this man. Uh, yes. I got eleven. Oh shit! You find one bottle of Amasek. Just write it down on your note card. A M A S E C. That is two thousand years old. Dude, Ooh, that's like maybe find some fresh. So, how do you spell Amasek? A-M-A-S-E-C. It's basically cognac um, in the 40k setting, but it's it's, it's a it's a bottle and winkles. Yeah, it it's and it's uh, got the seal of a road trader family. Oh wow! Oh, yeah, he's shit. just he's just he's gonna put that in his thing. <laughs> yeah. Can I do I do I see him do that? Because yeah. we're sharing that later. Oh yeah, we're yeah. sharing. You know, he he gives you that nod like yeah. All right, I'm gonna go find the kid. All right, the, the kid's outside, and he's just in the rain. He's like, "Mister, I saw the smashing." Yeah, is my so bike the, in there? It's okay. He he broke it. Your bike? 
No. No, no, it's okay, because I just drop a fat sack of coins. You can buy a new bike. He, he wants goes, to repay you for the damage. Yes. Oh, oh, that's so nice. Tell him I love him for being nice. It's, <laughs> no, I'm not he's so nice, he's going to move out, and he's never going to move back in. <laughs> oh, cool. He's still building on it. <laughs> Yeah, okay, sure. bye. No, <laughs> he just wait, runs no. off with his money. Yeah, Ricky comes out and sees that, and he looks over at Uriah. He's like, "Hey, did you give that guy kid a bunch of money?" Yes. Oh, oh, shouldn't I have done that. Take the two thousand year bottle of ammo. Come on, you can. It's not on. about that. You just gave a kid a, a bunch of money in the ghetto to run down the street with. What? <laughs> What's the problem with that? He's dead. He's not our problem anymore, and that's the important. Hey, he just he's goes. He's no like, well. Problem. We won't have that's one less bike riding kid in the neighborhood, I guess. <laughs> the, the, the Ricky's like, I've seen this happen many, many times. You don't you don't walk on the street with any kind of money. Those two those two coins were gonna eventually get robbed from him. So wait, Grig like follow what? Grig like follow boy. Hmm. Why? Make sure he not gets squished. Okay. You you follow the boy, you take him back to his hovel and he is today. All right. Grig like leave. All right. So uh, the the fatling is still in the corner. He's like, well, gentlemen, it appears this evening is most quarrelsome. No, well, the did he say break his legs? Just yes, I have orders. So I said, uh, no, 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 no. We joke. I, I just, I, I, I that, that is not that is a turn of phrase. All right, I stomp on his left kneecap. Oh God. Okay. Um, <laughs> it. it his fat legs just crunch and he just wails and screams. He's like, <laughs> like a pig. Like, rrr, rrr. Yeah, and he, he, he just, he is immobile in the corner. <laughs> so we I just roll that. him back to the station. <laughs> it's like uh, that blueberry from Wa- Willy Wonka. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Like Willy Wonka. You just roll him out of the building. Yeah, we, we put him on a, like a crawler to work on cars and roll him to the station. <laughs> Oompa Loompa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you roll him back to the station, the broken halfling, uh, you find the uh, captain is not beating the shit out of someone. In fact, that person is tied to a chair and their face looks rather swollen. And Kelso's just standing there uh, going, well, uh, Captain cracked him and kept going. But she had the cookies. So that's a plus. Well, we'll keep these in reserve for next time. Yeah. She said it was very thoughtful and she looked like she was going to cry. But then she punched the man like eight more times. So (laughs) um, here... I got, uh, she, she got, she beat a letter out of him, some numbers. I think it's an address. Excellent. He goes, I think it's where that guy got them feet. Excellent. Should we go investigate that, Kelso? Uh, I would. That's fucking weird. (laughs) I just go, sounds like a crime is afoot. We already had, oh, no, the foot is the crime. (laughs) <laughs> right, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go stash away our, our make captain not be angry cookies in our dorm for later and then Good we'll call. go back and take care of this oh, are you going to check on frog of course yeah, i am the frog. okay there, there are not dead. there 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 are two less flies so, uh, he's keeping one for later hell yeah i knew he could handle it the flies you made come out of your team <laughs> I can make more come that out of the What if I did like squirrels next? Oh god, no. <laughs> squirrels <are laughs> sure, you just barf from the yeah. squirrels. <laughs> yeah, the, that frog's gonna have a smoking habit if you eat my stomach flies. Ricky's like, hmm, can you make bullets come out of there? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> can I? <laughs> just a <laughs> That's that's where we're gonna get into the metaphysics of 40k and it's yeah. gonna get really fucked up. All if right, so all, all, all I'm yeah. saying is there's a lot of things I haven't tried yet that we can see where it goes. <laughs> all right. So well, this next this next jaunt takes you on a forty five minute walk. <laughs> <laughs> so we've left the block. You you have left Three hours the block. into our shift. Right. You you guys have managed to get into trouble twice, but surprisingly done very well for yourself. The captain has cookies. A boy has money for a bike. Some alcohol and chocolates were had, and you and feel stash. like you've made a difference in the world. Or at least this small part of it. So it appears 
this address, after you've squished and sloshed your way through the street, you come up to an old meat packing plant by the dock. There are pallets of cans to be shipped. There is a high fence. There appears to be no guard. Lights are on the inside. Interesting. I open one of the cans. What's inside? Okay. Is you? I'm. How, how are you going to open the? Can? I'm going to use my saber to cut the plastic wrap and take a can off the corner and then open it and look inside. It smells like that soup from earlier. No visible feet, and I drop it on the ground. <laughs> how are they going to? What do you expect? Like a whole toe in there? <laughs> this is a feat. This is a this. This investigation is running away from us. <laughs> <laughs> Took a few tries, like out there. <laughs> okay, you're getting Instructor G seventeen crime foots you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they foot the bill for this. One. <laughs> uh, Come on, boys, let's put our best foot forward. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I guess we need to at least dip our toe into this. <laughs> <laughs> this session is just going to be endless puns. This is why you started, Tex. This is your fault. I know. And it's amazing. The game's a foot. So if we take we too long, I'm going to get a rash. <laughs> <laughs> are there are there any uh, windows? Yeah, there's windows. You can see light from the inside. Approach carefully to get a look in the window. Okay, uh, you, you you see through the window a uh, guy wearing dungarees, uh, moving a pallet jack. Uh, he seems to have some things covered in tarps in the corner. Uh, he seems to be just kind of listening to music on a portable player in the corner while working. How many entrances are there to this building? Two. Uh, there's one on the far end uh, near the water and one next to you. All right, let's cover both entrances and breach make a scene and then do what we do okay recipe is sick of that yeah who who wants to take the close door with me i'll go with you sergeant okay i gotta i gotta be the the assistant to your zukov <laughs> i i will go with uh, i'll go with griglack okay uh, griglack you have point this time last time i Got point. We so all so who's taking the front door and who's <laughs> taking the back door? I don't have a map for this week. I fucked Theater up. Leader of the mine. You're fine. Uh, the mine. Greg Lack, if he's closer to us, you may want to stick with me, um, so you don't have to sprint across an entire warehouse to to smash. Mm, good point. So okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay back like sixty feet, right? Okay. I'm going to use a. Div divination ability called Farsight, which allows me to pretty much place my vision somewhere that I want it to be. So I'm going to try to, I'm actually going to try to get some intel from inside the places they're going in. All right. It's a very high channel rating, so I'm going to pull out a couple extra dice. Okay. Now things get interesting. <laughs> I'm going to spend a round before, as they're going up to do my uh, evocation, so I'll roll for that. All right. Fucking blew it, so I guess that's how the doesn't matter, but here we go. You, you um, try to, you try to manifest the powers of the work, and there's yeah. like a little wet pop in the air, and nothing happens. You're you smell mustard. You're like, what the us. fuck? A fish lands next to you. It's okay. I'm gonna try this spell anyway. <laughs> All right, uh, if uh, we're gonna go take point with the sergeant. I'll, I'll buddy up with Ricky. Okay. I, ro I rolled three okay. dice, and all of them came out really good. Ten, eight, and five. So suddenly my vision's inside the place. <laughs> yeah. All right. So as, as you look inside the place, you find a bunch of fucking bodies in various stages of decom that have been pulled out and they're laid out on trolling nets. Like from this a is river. the body man that they were talking about. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to tell anyone what I saw. I just wanted to see what was inside. <laughs> so you're just like... <laughs> Go see it's clear, boys. <laughs> no, I just go. I, no one even knows I'm doing this because I stayed back. So I'm just like, do the comms work? Do I have like a no, way to communicate? Don't work now. Then I can't comms tell them. Work. I'm not going. I'll have my la 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 long lads out pointing towards the front door. All right. Okay. Um. So which one of these is front door and back door? Uh, front door's here with me and Griglack. Back door is on the side there okay, with Uriah. So, yeah, that's where. Yeah, I was. where you're at. Yeah. 
we're gonna do some Scott Brown. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm sorry I don't have anything prepared. No, 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 no. no, no. no this is this is perfect because we mind. could just literally just do like yeah some bodies. You guys here. can draw what you want to do. Yeah. Um. Where where did we see this individual working approximately? Um. Okay. So you are. Yeah. I, I would say he's like up here. Okay. You you see him up there just kind of pushing stuff back and forth, and he's like, listen to music when working. All right, everybody in position? Yes. This is a big-ass house. It's a warehouse. <laughs> yeah. Your house. This is a big-ass house. How many <laughs> feet long is it? Many. Many, feet many stay. feet. Many. It can hold many metal birds. It can hold many feet, Dick. A lot of feet. Good thing I don't remember drink, eating that soup, so we're good. All right. I boot the door and yell, here comes the fuzz! <laughs> <laughs> As I march into the fucking room. The guy the guy just jumps back and he's like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Level the shotgun at him. Hands and he up reaches into his pocket. I pull the trigger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Roll for damage. Okay. Um, I got a nine. Plus... Wait, you rolled a nine? Yeah, one d ten plus four i, so thirteen damage on that one barrel. Yes, but when you well, okay. You said yeah. roll for damage. Do you need me to roll firearms? No, 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 oh. not at this range. Not in this case. <laughs> um, There's a yeah. if it's a blank. Yeah, it's 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 at this point it doesn't matter. Uh, he die. He die bad. You, you just you just cut him apart. He's like, whoa, <laughs> you know, it's just mid mid talk. He he just hits the wall and crumples. I swing the shotgun around to clear the other corner. There's nothing right. in there. I got yeah. Go go go! Plays. Yeah, I, I go in. I'm right behind him both with my shotgun and my uh, my revolver. Just like both hands, like yeah. We're doing the Hollywood ready on everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> in in the middle, you 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 find just trays and trays and trays and trays of bodies that have been pulled out of the bay. Obviously, they're just wet in various stages of decomp. Give me an awareness check. Awareness it's check stank in here. Uh-oh, stinky. 46. Failure. Uh, I, I pass. Wait, do I? Uh, I no. fail. 83. Is awareness I... one... Nice. It's your perception. Oh, You're rolling under your perception with two d tens. I actually do not pass. I, I I'm over it by a few points. It would it would be worth it to pass this. I think. Okay, I will I will uh, use a fate point. Okay, oh, I was going to suggest I'll let, you, I'll let you. I'll let you, if you fail this one, I'll use mine. But Griglack have heightened. Oh no, just here. Uh, Twenty six. I make it. Okay, so you notice expertly that. One, having fought trench warfare, these people did not all die at the same time. <laughs> these people are in various stages of decom. And two, someone has expertly removed all of their gold teeth, fillings, jewelry, and etc. And feet? Feet and hands here and there. Okay. Griglack, I... you also pass? No, Griglack fail. Okay. Check the body. What did he have in his pocket? That a key picture of his wife and kids. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> their pets. I oh, asked God, him to yeah, put his hand like up. A huge thing. <laughs> he should not have reached. Yeah. So he he had a set of keys, and as you take the set of keys jangling out, you look at a uh, trunk in the corner that has a uh, key clasp to it. All right. Awareness on the trunk. Is there any like fluids leaking out or anything? No. Greg Lack okay. opens the chief don't blow up. <laughs> Much appreciated. I'll hand the keys to Greg Lack. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's assume Greg Lack knows how a, a, a locks work. works. Yeah. I'm, I'm how... back there mining. What do you like to do? <laughs> All right. As, as you slide it in and turn it, it pops open and the whole thing is filled with gold teeth, rings, watches, jewelry, all corroded and dented and beat up and rough, like you would expect from someone who'd been dumped in the bay. Yeah. Okay. The pallet that he was moving, it's covered in the same cans? Yes. Does he have any paperwork on him? Identification? Yeah. This is his assigned job, isn't it? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he should not have reached. I asked him to put his hands up. And I think hey guys, I just got a call. Tonight. Don't kill the guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we'll end it here for tonight. Uh, yes. I was, I was going to say, uh, <laughs> Ricky just goes, hey, I've been doing a think and I have an idea. What is it, Ricky? What if this ladle rot lottery is behind everything that's going on? What if it's the same thing that, you know, brought our brain stuff down here to do the, the police stuff? Well, he finally caught on. <laughs> he knows too much. I Take I, him out. I have big things sometimes. Big, I tried yeah. to save and it just crashed. Nope. So Oops. fuck tabletop sim. We didn't we didn't have to record anything on there except uh I know, I know, I know. Yeah, we're good. Whew. Um, he, he's like, Don't worry guys, we had a warranty, we're allowed to be in there. <laughs> I, I, I hope tonight's We've session never was had good. a warrant. <laughs> yeah, you you guys have never had a warrant. Not that they're really required. We always yeah. have a warrant. Yeah, you your badge. Probable cause. Yeah, the yeah. warrant card with the badge. Yeah, yeah. It's, I it's wrote cool. down I could do what I want on on a piece of paper, <laughs> and it's in high gothic, so people can't question me. It looks very yeah, fancy. It, it only only Uriah ever goes. Why do you carry that? I was like you would understand. <laughs> yeah, basically in this in this in this setting, if if you showed up with that badge, it would have a little thing on there where it says, "If you can read this, you're in trouble." <laughs> you know, just, yeah. Um, I I hope tonight's session was good. Yeah, um, was. I yeah. didn't prepare as much as I wanted because I just kept brain fog with work and everything else. How dare you? Um, so yeah, I enjoyed it. That was it's cool that we got to do so many varied things, and uh, I really enjoy the little street walks. I think I think we should definitely have more of those. Uh, you know, in between. Uh, plot stuff because I like I like the uh, little I like the mundane I I, I find that well, that's, to be a lot that's, of fun. That's why I called it the magistrata mundanus. Yeah, I, I want. It's where, I we're want, not supposed to be handling the big stuff. That's the arbitrage. No, you you keep bumping into the big stuff, but it's like cop hey, stuff. Can you get out of our way? We're just trying to give some tickets to people. On the yeah, you, well, it's just like, did you not know I'm the eighth elector? Can I don't. No, 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 no. I drew this picture. I'm just wrong. here for the parking violation. Yeah, yeah. you parked wrong. We'll learn next time, scumbag. <laughs> That's going to be an expensive $46 ticket. <laughs> Throw it on the... Oh my god. That would be so fucking funny. <laughs> Remember, you have a choice in what you put your money in, and we do not monetize this podcast. We're, in fact, brought to you by you, so do what you will with that. Anyway, you might be thinking about Frog, but I'm thinking about those beans. I hurt myself today. Open in some beans I focus on the beans I'm gonna eat some beans The baked beans fill the bowl Right up to the brim Try not to spill it all away but I just lost everything What have I become? My sweet legume Every bean I had Falls away to stew And I would eat them They give me gas and make me shart my jeans. Fucking beans. I 
hold my can of beans Aloft my booster seat Seeing they're all gone I throw them shouting Yay! Beneath the stains of rhyme Make beans disappear They are somewhere else I am still right here What have I become? My sweet legume Every bean I had Falls away Way to this doom, and I would eat them all. My whole can of beans, but they give me gas, they make me shart my jeans. If I could open Another can of beans I would eat it all With some collard 